Hey, are you back on the BBD? Hey, yes I am. <laughs> <laughs> the BBD, uh, uh, Bethany, Sidekick Bethany here Hi with Catcom, Studio Sweat On Demand. We uh, affectionately refer to the black bean diet, which is just kind of this fun little oh, yeah, diet that fun. I wrote. It is very fun. It's so fun. <laughs> where there's a lot of beans involved. It's, uh, it's, it's a good diet. It's, it's awesome. really good. It's really good. Anyways, it gets results, which is really it does. all that matters. And then you learn to eat healthy. Yes. Anyways, we're going to try and go, uh, we're going to have a rapid fire question and answer session here today. We got a lot of really awesome questions from Studio Sweat and Studio Sweat On Demanders. So we're gonna go through those today. I will uh, go ahead and start. Okay. And I'm, I'm sorry, by the way, last week we did forget to mention what releases were coming out. Eric, please remind me at the end of this rapid question, fire question and answer session to, I didn't even have a Red Bull or anything. I have promise. you been drinking? No, and only one <laughs> cup of coffee, so. Okay, Matt Shore from Virginia I like says, him, he's funny. Yeah, he's super mm -hmm. interactive, love it. He says, what are your suggestions for staying consistent? Using an internet-based studio, the buddy system is a little tough. Any ideas? So, um, I sent an email to our tech guys to see if we could create a Facebook group just for Studio Sweat and Studio Sweat On Demanders, so you guys could interact that way. Is that a good idea? I like that idea. Is, is it, it's possible, right? We can do that. We can set up a group like that, can't we, Eric? I think so. Yeah, so we're gonna, why not. we're gonna try and do that, so that way when you guys are up at 4.30 in the morning, you can actually talk to each other and even 1.30? Who was up at 1.30? <laughs> was that Pacific versus? Well, I don't know. I don't Anyways. know who that person was. Anyway, so any, we can all interact that way. Wouldn't that be fun? So fun, because I want to talk to people at 4.30 in the morning. Yeah, I think it's really more <laughs> for um, the, the, the Studio Sweat On Demanders themselves to talk amongst each other. No, I think so. that'd be cool. Well, if you guys have any suggestions on that, post them to our Facebook page as well. Kelly Gray from Texas writes, what do you think of doing push-ups on the bike while cycling? Um, and then she follows up with, what is your body fat percentage, really? That's I'll tell a little you. bit personal. <laughs> it is a little bit personal, I'll tell you. Push-ups on the bike, we have talked about this subject in um, vlogs before. Uh, it's really one of those things that's somewhat controversial. A lot of people believe, and especially um, spinning, specifically Mad Dog, thinks that if you can't do it on an outdoor bike, you should not do it on an indoor bike. Bethany does not feel comfortable doing push-ups on the bike. I, I, I'm comfortable doing them if I'm in the class. I don't like leading them if I'm teaching. Okay, but that is more of a rhythm issue, isn't it's, it? It's a rhythm <laughs> more issue. More than anything. <laughs> Anyways, I actually love doing push-ups on the bike and um, have been doing them as a participant and as a leader. Uh, for many years. I think it's a lot of fun and I think it does great things for the upper body, but it has to be done right. So I think if you feel awkward doing them, maybe don't. You know what I mean? I'm a don't. Or, or try it on your own <laughs> first. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so that's that. Anyways, you can look for a vlog on that also, Kelly. Bethany, you go ahead and take a question. Um, Jody. <laughs> yep. Mm -hmm. What's your last name? Jaquette. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It's like Bouquet with a J. <laughs> <laughs> bouquet. I mean, you mean bouquet. <laughs> it's like, it's like Joquette from oh. Michigan. Oh. We'll just call it. We're just gonna say Michigan. Yeah. Question is paleo versus. I thought you said it was paleo. Isn't paleo um... the diet? That's what she's talking about. I don't know the paleo paleo. I've heard it both versus yeah, Weight too, Watchers, actually. which is better. Um, we actually just covered this last week in our vlog, so go ahead yeah, and look it Jody, up. Jody, didn't you watch last week's Come vlog? On, Jody, <laughs> where have you been? Pull up last week's vlog. <laughs> and we cover it. We cover it well, so we won't talk your area off about that one again. No. Just look up last week's vlog. It's in there. And we have seen, um, a lot of success uh, come from people who have done the Weight Watchers program, though. I think yeah. it's a good program. So it's more educational. It too. is. It is. Oh, back to uh, Kelly's question on my body fat percentage. <laughs> I, I'm going to put that out there to you. What do you guys think my body fat percentage is? Yeah, let's see what you come back with. Yeah. I like to eat and drink and keep a balanced life. I will tell you that. So it's not going to be essential fat. It's going to just be barely over that, though. It's not essential fat only. It's, it's obviously in the athletic zone, mm -hmm. but um, it might be a little higher than people think. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, no, Come back. Not, Tell me what much you, of her. Be careful. <laughs> <laughs> Come back and say 20% or I'm going to be like, what? Really? Sure. Okay. Next question comes from Aura. Oh, she's Angel. Too. She's, I like she's like one I of like our her. mats, right? Um, yeah. I can't remember what she's, where she's from and I did not write it down, but she, her question in general was, 
you guys don't seem to be drinking very much water when you're teaching your classes <laughs> because you know you see us as we're teaching our classes reason for that is most of us oh and she says but yet you're dripping in sweat so she can tell we're hydrated most of us trainers our instructors have to prehydrate because we have to talk so much during class to lead the class we prehydrate will really well before class and that's why we're not thirsty and we, we recommend that you guys do the same thing i like to take sips of water throughout class but mm -hmm. i don't need it because yeah. I prehydrated. So personally, the hour before my spin class, I'll make sure I get, a, for me personally, about 20 ounces of water in, just kind of throughout the hour. I don't slam it all at once. Um, and then she kind of also followed up the question by saying, you know, what do you suggest to drink before, during, and after your workout? Um, during and before, I just go with straight water, mm -hmm. and that's what's, you know, if you, if you kind of Google it and you see what's out there, that's what's recommended for the most part. If you uh, sweat a lot, it's not a bad idea after your workout, not so much during, but after your workout. Assuming, and I'm talking about a 60 minute workout. Beyond that, lots of different schools of thought. But um, after that workout, if you got really sweaty and you lost a lot of sodium, consider um, a sports drink that has a little bit of sodium and electrolytes, but not a high calorie, so like Propel Zero or something like that. Mm -hmm. Maybe a G2. Propel Zero, zero calories though. So that's not a bad one. Last question is from Doria. I think that's correct. Okay, from Maryland. We don't know where, but Maryland. It says, okay, I have a question. Do you advise clients who come to your gym a uh, schedule, a rotation of workouts? She says she's 51, very fit, and very committed to staying fit as she gets older. Mm -hmm. And she says Studio Sweat has been an awesome fitness addition that she's discovered. Can you, can you repeat that? No. Studio Sweat I will, <laughs> has been the most awesome fitness addition I have discovered. Doria, I love you. That was so sweet. We love you forever. We love you forever. Anyways. So um, we did do a vlog on that last June. Um, Kat just posted a link up on Facebook to that vlog. So go ahead and check that one out too. But um, we do talk about a rotation um, of activities that you can do. Um, I'm thinking of some other ladies here who are in their 50s and in incredible shape and they work their cans off, whether it be a TRX, a sculpt, a straight spin, um, they're in it, they're doing, they're even doing yoga classes outside of here. Yep. So, I mean, it's a good mix. I see them out walking, I see them out running. Yep. Mix it up. As long as you get, and this is one of the things I really encourage you to watch that vlog, but as long as you get your strength training in, minimum um, at hitting every major muscle group, um, twice a week so because as you age you lose so much yeah it's an incredible amount intensity. of muscle loss exactly yeah, so so, so anyways check that vlog out you can also just search um, how many studio sweat classes per week and you know you could do a search for that and it'll pull up that vlog so look for that yeah very good rapid fire session done let's talk releases. about it. that's done releases yeah we're gonna talk I'm about on releases it. yes but I can't remember them <laughs> I know um let's see so on a Sunday meaning tomorrow happy Mother's Day by the way oh, yes. yeah um, so Dustin is going to come at you with a TRX cardio class on mm -hmm. Sunday and then you will get to do a spin sculpt class with with Miss Bethany the midweek uh, yeah midweek I think Thursday that'll come out so yep. uh, spin sculpt with Bethany TRX cardio with Dustin and you guys are gonna have an excellent week happy Mother's Day get it done okay See you later. bye guys bye